Hi, this is Mark Berkey with Berkey Academy, and I'm building another computer. Actually, I've already built it, and I'm recording this video on the new computer. This is a little bit of an overview and wrap-up to give you an idea of what we did, why, and what the uh, ending result was. I have videos, a brief set of videos, uh, showing you the steps in the build again. But I didn't go through as many details as I did in the first one because I just focused on the differences. Let me just show you the differences real quickly if you watched the other series of videos or if you're interested in any of these pieces. Uh, in the first build, we used an Antec 300 Illusion case. It's a, an Antec 300 that comes with two extra front case fans for a total of four here. Um, in this build, we used an Antec 300 II, a slightly newer version of the case, but it only comes with two fans, so we added two, you know, about $5 each, uh, Rose Wheel 120 mil millimeter fans in the front that have blue LEDs. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, in the first case, we used a 430 watt Corsair power supply, a good, pretty decent basic power supply. Here we use a Cooler Master 620 watt. We don't need that much power, but this is a very efficient power supply that if you're not using the power it's not going to it's not going to suck the juice out of the wall so you don't have to pay for it this is also a fully modular power supply which is cool i'd never used one before modular means that you only plug in the power cables that you need to use and anything you don't need you don't plug in and you don't have to uh, cram under the motherboard or anything like that so that's pretty nice we use the same motherboard and power supply in both builds, an Asus PHC77VLK um, and the Intel Core i5-3570K. Nice processor, uh, good overclocking headroom, uh, additionally it ha comes with the Intel HD4000 uh, integrated graphics processor, which is turning out to be pretty good. I mean, if I was doing hardcore gaming right now, I would probably want uh, to put in an extra um, discrete video card, but for what I'm doing right now, it's uh, it's it's plenty. It's, it's performing, performing really well, but um, if you're a hardcore 3D gamer, you probably want something a little bit better. Um, another difference, we use the stock heat sink and fan in the last build. Here we're using a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus. I'll show you that uh, in just one minute. In the first build, we used uh, two 4 gig sticks of G Skill RAM. Uh, I, I later added two more to go up to a total of 16 gigs. Here I just went ahead and started off with two 8 gig sticks to take us to 16 gigs right away. I do a lot of multitasking, so I, I can use that, and, and a lot of heavy uh, data processing here. The boot drive difference also, uh, last time we used a standard one terabyte SATA 6 Seagate drive, a mechanical hard drive, standard thing you see everywhere. And this computer, we're using a, a Samsung 840 250 gigabyte SSD drive. Extremely fast, uh, more expensive and smaller, uh, you know, more expensive per gigabyte, certainly, but very fast. Uh, we can uh, shut down and, uh, you know, re restart the computer and boot back up in about 30 seconds, uh, which is pretty good for shutting down and booting back up. Uh, same DVD burner as last time, nothing exciting. Another difference here, I'm using Windows 8 in the new build, Windows 7 in the previous build. The main reason is uh, I wanted to try it out, but, but really the main reason was uh, Windows 8 is much, much cheaper now than Windows 7 is. So uh, let's look at uh, how this thing performs in, in just a very basic way here. Let's, let's just look at the, um, the Windows Performance Index, which is a decent basic way of, of looking at how it's performing. Uh, the processor gets an 8 score, which is pretty high, RAM 8. Graphics for both uh, desktop and gaming, 6.6, .6, which is, is pretty good given the fact that the, the processor itself runs at a maximum of 75 watts. Uh, we're, we don't have a discrete video card here. Uh, for not using much power or generating much heat, that's a pretty good score. And certainly, again, we, we could do better if we needed it. Uh, the hard disk, 8.1 with that SSD, that's a very good score and a, a very fast performance there. Let me show you one other thing. Uh, we overclocked this um, uh, i5-3570K processor here. 
Um, the stock speed is 3.4 gigahertz. Um, we're running it at a multi uh, 100 frequency times 44 multiplier. There you saw it go up to that 44 multiplier uh, for 4.4 instead of 3.4 gigahertz. Um, I do have the uh, Intel speed step on, so sometimes it runs faster, sometimes it runs slower when it doesn't really need to do that processing. So there it jumped back up to the 4.4 uh, gigahertz. So I've, it's it's been running very stably at uh, 4.4 with no problems, and the temperatures um, have seemed to be uh, pretty cool. Uh, just in case you're a, a computer geek and you want to know what the temperatures look like, CPU uh, has usually been running at uh, 30 Celsius or below, um, even doing a lot of processing. That's that's usually about the uh, as high as it gets. Right now I'm recording this video on this computer uh, so we're doing a little bit of video encoding so it is um, using the processor a little bit uh, and, and so that's what's driving the heat up even that high. Um, idle it's usually about uh, 25 degrees something like that 24 25. Uh, let me show you what the uh, computer looks like, uh, just so I don't have to splice video together. I'm going to show you a grainy webcam. I'm sorry, I'm, it's, I'm tired, it's late. Uh, let me get the webcam going here and show you what this computer looks like very briefly. If you want more details, watch the, watch the build video where we go into details and show you everything very closely. All right, well, here's the front of the case of this um, Asus 302 version. Um, I, as I said, I added these two little uh, Rosewill case fans that have the blue LEDs. I also added this little Dragon applique that I ordered for about three bucks, just to give the computer a little bit of personality here. Um, DVD drive, nothing special. Um, the the 302 comes with a uh, USB 3.0 headers right there. I also added two little drawers. If I didn't tell you that, you probably couldn't see them. Um, but you just push, they click open, uh, good for extra CD storage um, or um, pen drives, things like that. So uh, I added those there for convenience, added a little biohazard sticker just because I had one laying around. Let me show you the interior of this uh, build very briefly. Uh, we'll be about 15 more seconds here. Let me just show you this monster um, Cooler Master CPU cooler that's on here. It just barely fits inside the case. Um, it's very tall. It seems like these aftermarket CPU coolers are always a little bit larger than I uh, think they're going to be. So basically what we have is these, these two front fans blowing cool air in over the hard drives and then this fan on the uh, CPU sucking the air and blowing it back through that massive CPU cooler and then this exhaust fan on the back sucking the hot air out in addition we have this um, fan exhaust fan on the top here and so a very easy quick build took me uh, far less than two hours to put everything together even uh, and install Windows 8 uh, even though I was uh, video videoing part of it. So if you want to see the details, uh, especially one interesting thing is about how to put this um, aftermarket CPU cooler on with the uh, little retaining bracket on the bottom if you've never done that. Um, also how to put in uh, this little um, tiny SSD drive on the bottom down here if you haven't ever seen that done before. Here's that little uh, modular power supply which we go into detail about and uh, I'll end the video here. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can always contact me at www.berkeyacademy.com. Good luck with your own computer builds. Talk to you later.